the top of a mountain. I got a rock just in case. Where am I? Oh. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like street dog territory. I don't really know where I'm going. It's like, uh, it's one of those mornings. Got a little friend here. MasterCard got stolen. I don't wanna get shot today. Smoke a cigarette, ride a quad bike, play with some knives and guns. What's up guys? Welcome back to Albania. Beautiful sunny day today. Today I'm going on a mission to the top of a mountain. It's super hot, but I gotta go to the city center and uh, find a bus to Prostani. I've probably already forgot it in saying that completely incorrect, but I've gotta go get a bus from the city center. So let's go do that. Also, a few really cool things on this one day, they all kind of came together. One, it's vlog 100, so that's pretty cool. Also hit 5,000 subscribers last night. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much for all the support, it's amazing. And then one more thing, I got a reminder on my Facebook this morning that it was three years ago on this day that I started my full international travels. Not vlogging, but when I first started traveling. So that basically also marks one year of vlogging. So it's like all these things came together on this one day. It's pretty special. 100 vlogs, 5,000 subscribers, three years of travel and one year of vlogging. Amazing. How did that happen? Alright guys, I'm gonna head into the city center, find myself a bus and some food, head towards a mountain. <laughs> I got myself a Burek for 50 lek. It was just on the side of the road and I couldn't resist. The hotel room that I've got actually comes with breakfast. I missed it sadly, but I still got an espresso for free. So not bad for 15 euros for your own room with breakfast and coffee. So here's the Burek guys. I've eaten most of it, but it's like, uh, this one's like cottage cheese. Um, you can see there, and this is just out of the oven and that's when they're best. So delicious. And this costs less than 50 US cents. This costs 50 Albanian lek. It was like three times the size of this, but I ate it. Ratatouille. Is this gonna become a regular thing with you? Okay guys, I just went into a travel agent and bought a bus ticket for tomorrow because I'm moving on to a new location. I didn't have enough cash and legs, so I had to go to like 50 ATMs to accept my card because my card is a Cirrus card, not a MasterCard. Because if you've been following me for a while, remember in Morocco, my MasterCard got stolen. I'll leave that video link below if you haven't seen it. So yeah, I just had to go to like six different ATMs to find one that took Cirrus and I bought myself a bus ticket for tomorrow. And now I have the information on what bus to get to the bottom of this mountain that we're going to. Got a little friend here. It's pretty sad, a few beggars around here. I don't know about you, but I think it's really wrong, you know, when a kid's begging because chances are they've been sent by their parents to go and beg. I do give money to beggars, but something about giving the money to the child feels like I'm encouraging the parents to send out the kids. This doesn't really sit right with me. So I was walking in the wrong direction again, as per usual, but I just asked the guy over there. Did I mention that the people in Albania are so friendly and open? Similar to Macedonia, a really wide understanding of the English language, which is really impressive again. So I've got to go this way, get a bus. <laughs> Uh, it's one of those mornings. Let's see if we can find that bus. Blue bus. Yeah, that's me. Run. Alright guys, a bit lost again. That bus was kind of strange. It drove for like 20 minutes and it pulled over. They were like, alright, everyone out. And then one of the guys, like, he knew I was going to the cable car and he led me on to another bus. And then all the bus drivers went and had lunch. And then came back and jumped on the bus and we started driving. And a lady just hopped on. I asked her, like, oh no, you passed it. So now I'm walking back up the hill. Where I just came from. The local people are so cool, you're just like walking down the street. And like, you know when you're like walking next to someone at the same speed on the street? And it can be kind of uncomfortable, because you're both going in the same direction and you're like walking side by side going the same speed. And like normally one person always just like picks up the pace a bit to like get away from them. Thank you for the pen. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Bye. Bye, Evan. That happened before, and this Albanian guy was like, what's up, in English? And like, that's the thing with Albanian people, is it seems like they're all your best friends. Like, everybody knows everyone, it's kind of got that feeling. Pretty cool. Alright guys, made it to the cable car. 
pretty good view of the city already. I was thinking about walking, but then I've only got one day in the city, so I want to go up, maybe do a bit of walking up there, and then come back down and do a bit more exploring in this huge city here. I'm gonna go buy a ticket. I think it's like five euros. Got a ticket, 800 lek, six euros. Return trip, so not too bad. Alright guys, made it to the top. I was greeted by some bunnies here. <laughs> so weird. Anyway, this is like a little kind of settlement up here. This is a big hotel. Just gonna go have a look at the view. It's a pretty cool little spot. And that was so far. Luckily I didn't walk, otherwise it probably would have been like a seven hour walk altogether, maybe more. I don't know. It's pretty high. It's over 1600 meters. You ready for the view? So high up here, amazing. I saw some horses and things over here and like a little bit of a fair it looked like, so I'm gonna go scope that out. Some guns, knives and cigarettes there. place is tripping me out. So if you want to go horse riding or smoke a cigarette, ride a quad bike, play with some knives and guns, then you know where to come. All those girls just came running out of that forest because a dog ran out from behind the trees and just chased them out barking. Where am I? This is so cool. So different. I'm gonna go up here. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like street dog territory. A bit scared, to be honest. What is this abandoned building? Crazy. I got a rock, just in case. My Albanian viewers, where am I? What is this place? Or what was this place? Probably more the question. This is like, just right near the cable car. It looks like people live here though. I'm gonna try a new location. It looks like there's people living in there. I don't want to disturb them. Another thing, there's so many Mercedes in Albania. New ones, old ones, pretty cool. So those guns you saw before, they've got bottles lined up here. Pretty loose. There was a kid back there selling fruit, raspberries or something, and he was like 200, which is like a dollar fifty maybe. I was like 100. He's like 150, 100. He's like 150. I'm like 100. He's like nah. I'm like, All right, thank you. He's like. Okay, see ya. Didn't even get upset or anything, just kept on smiling. And you've got to admire that hustle in, in a kid to, you know, learn English to sell berries up a mountain. Like, it's so cool. And then be cool about it when someone doesn't want to buy something. I'm not going to go that way because that's where the shooting range is and I don't want to get shot today. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm trying to find a good viewpoint or something. I'm scared of dogs. Dog houses, I think. <laughs> Bouncy castle, anyone? Hope you enjoyed that view guys. I think I'm gonna head back down now. I've done quite a bit of exploring around this area. Very diverse, I'll say that much. Got like nice upscale restaurants there and then you take a walk a few minutes that way you find guns, cigarettes and knives and abandoned buildings. Albania is interesting I'll tell you. Anyway, let's jump back on the cable car and head back down to the city. See if we can find some nice food or something. Just jumped on the cable car, I got the whole thing to myself. So sick. So I was talking to the girl at the travel agent where I bought my bus ticket for tomorrow and she was explaining to me that this is one of the hottest summers that they've had in the Balkans in a long time. Apparently it was 44 degrees Celsius the other day, which is apparently just unheard of for this region. And so that's why like in yesterday's video I had the air conditioning broke on the bus and so yeah, it's just amazing. It's so hot, like I can't really describe it. So that's the mountain I just came from. I'm back in the city centre, so I think I'm gonna try and find like a restaurant or something. The dog walked itself home, ate a pizza, and took a nap. 
had some food guys. Something called a piadina and it was like a kind of a wrap with chicken and cheese and tomatoes and olives and mushrooms and peppers. It was pretty delicious. It cost 400 lek for two. It's under four dollars maybe around three dollars fifty US so it's cheap but it's kind of expensive for Albania I think but that's because it's right in the tourist area. Lots of places are closed today, lots of restaurants because it's Sunday so I just thought I'd grab those. Pretty tasty. I don't know if that's Albanian. If you're Albanian tell me if that's an Albanian food. Okay guys, back in my hotel after a big day exploring. Beautiful slash fascinating city this is. There's so much to see and so many like little nooks and crannies where interesting things are going on and just amazing. Tomorrow I'm gonna be here for a little bit in the morning and then I've got a bus at three o'clock in the afternoon to a new location. This place that I'm going is really interesting for a few reasons but you will see that in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna wrap up the video there. Before I do that, I just wanna say a huge thank you. I got two new patrons overnight Eric and Patrick thank you so much guys I'll say this a hundred times just so blown away by your support and it means a lot to me that you back me like this so a million thanks your way guys and also I got to give a shout out to two other people who gave me separate PayPal donations Helsinki pop who's this Finnish youtuber and he's a character he makes these camping videos and he goes out and gets into the outdoors and a really good sense of humor just classic one-liner jokes I'll leave his channel link below and you should definitely check him out and the second guy is a guy called gold day from Albania thank you so much guys I mean no words and a huge thank you to all the 5,000 people who have clicked that little subscribe button that is truly incredible so thank you so much for watching and commenting and all that good stuff that you do it really means a lot see you tomorrow for vlog 101 peace out guys <laughs>